Ben. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this very first day of May, Wednesday. We're looking at this 10 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update. Dow's up 8 and 37,822 was up quite a bit more, but now it's a stranded H pattern. I'll talk about that in my show coming up. The Tiger Technicians Hour looks like this. Are we going to get a test of the left side low or are we going to spiral higher? We'll see exactly what happens after the Fed talk at 2 to about 2.40 this afternoon. S&P, so the Dow's up just slightly. The S&P is down 17 at 5,017. There's it. Oh, I didn't even write, draw it in. But it looks like this. Here's your dreaded H. But it's still in progress. It hasn't tested the left side low of 49.53. It's at 5,021, down 14. Looking at QQQ, it's the same thing. Down two at 42.50. Uh, We're watching the uh, IWM. The IWM is the Russell 2000. Right now at 10 o'clock to 10.20, we should start to see whether we're going to get a flurry to the upside because usually when the Fed talks, if the market's up, before that it sort of whittles away, and if it's down, it kind of comes back waiting for the Fed. IWM is up 10 cents at 196. Let's look at gold. Gold is up 12 at 2,312. That nine period moving average, we're going to see if that holds negative, but uh, so far it's holding quite nicely. The dollar was up earlier on, now it's down 10 ticks at 106.22, retested the high of uh, mid April. Looking at the bonds, man, this is going to be the issue. Bonds are up 20, 30 seconds. Can they move much higher today? That's going to be important. 114 and a half. We're looking at crude oil. There we go, crudy, crudy. Yep, there we are, down 52 cents at 81.41, uh, making lower lows and lower highs. I'll be back for the Tiger Technicians Hour in a few moments. Uh, it's going to be quite an interesting period, day because uh, starting off the new month, we've closed the monthly candles. We talk about that in my show coming up, the Tiger Technicians Hour. And even more importantly, where do we close today after Fed speak? I'll be back. See you in a few minutes.